Um, so I'm going to talk about exporting your view here. Your section perspective, this is a lot like exporting your displaced view, although there's a couple things uh, we have to keep in mind. Um, one is that uh, perspectives don't have scale. They, don't, they can't have a scale applied to them because there's perspectival dis distortion. Um, and if they do have a, a scale, it's a, a sort of approximated um, scale from an orthogonal drawn that's converted into a perspectival drawn. Um, so you can see down here, I'm in my section perspective view, and I don't have a scale to modify. So what is the size of this drawing? Well, it might depend on a couple things. If you created a default 3D view and you did this, then this might actually be at a one-to-one -one scale. So when you try to export this, you know, if your building's 120 feet long, your your um, your drawing might be your crop region might be 120 feet long. So how can we um, how can we look at this? Well, if we go into our drawing, once we have this sort of set out. The first thing I would recommend is turning on your crop region, to show your crop region. Um, and this will come up with a box, and you can modify this box. And if you don't actually turn on um, the, uh, the crop view button, um, you can actually crop this over and still see the elements. Um, so what I would do here is try to find a, a general you know, amount of white space around your drawing. So um, usually you have you know, a one inch border or so. Um, so if you think about this as like a real piece of paper, this would be um, pretty close to like an 11 by 17, right? It looks like two eight and a half by 11s put together. And I think that, that would be the first starting point is try and find a real paper size. But that's not always possible because your buildings might be pretty tall and then it, you, know, you have to zoom in a lot. So I wouldn't worry so much about that. And just focus on the um, the white space on on the edges. So I like this here, and you can see that if I don't have my crop region, um, uh, if I don't have my crop view turned on, then I can't look at the the size crop button. So I need to turn that on, and then if I select the crop region, I can hit this size crop, and you might get some weird numbers here. Um, and again, that's based on the the scale that you might have imported. Uh, and you changed your um, orthogonal to a perspectival drawing from. And we have to, we have to look at um, just a couple buttons here to try and get this down to a reasonable scale. Um, now I'm going to use um, 36 by 24 as a general, um, uh, general size guideline. Or, um, you know, based on your, your proportion, um, you might have to go smaller or slightly larger than that. So maybe two 11 by 17s um, together, so it would be, um, or I guess four of them, it would be a 34 by 22, um, right? So trying to keep that general proportion, just so we know that this could physically be printed eventually, right? It's not something that just exists in the computer. Um, so what happens if I have field of view turned on and I change this width down to something like 34? If I hit apply, you can see that it's going to crop down. So I'm going to change that back to about 102. And I'm going to change this to scale, to scale locked proportions. And then I'm going to change this to 34. And you can see that the height adjusts. And then when I hit apply, you can see that the drawing doesn't actually change, but the scale of it kind of does. You can see that the, um, the drawing becomes a little bit um, finer, or actually a little bit coarser. Um, you can start to see these patterns here. So uh, I would emphasize just going through a couple different scales, um, trying to stick to around the 36 by 24 ratio, right? This is 34 by 21. That's totally fine because my building is probably a little bit more squat um, than yours. Um, so I'm going to hit OK there. And that's good proportion. So I'm going to go to File, Export. And we can go down here, images and animations. This is the same as the displaced view. And here uh, you can change your, your um, output location. Um, let's change the, uh, the name there. And what you need to do is zoom to 100%. And if you don't really understand that first process, like if it's, if it's not uh, working for you, you can just crop it without worrying about the, um, the actual size of this. And you could just fit this in the horizontal direction to about 2,000 pixels. And you might have to do this a couple times, like maybe 3,000 pixels is better. Uh, but, but an HDTV it renders at 19, um, 1920 by uh, 1080. 
uh, and 4K is some, somewhere around 30, 3200, 3400. Um, so if you want to be at a 4K resolution, you could put this at about 3400. And then you know that your screen really can't show more pixels than that anyway, so that's a good, um, that's a good sort of um, workaround if you can't get the inches to, to work. Um, but because there might be a physical presence to this drawing, and we're trying to, to emphasize that, that these things need to be uh, usually printed out on a piece of paper, we're going to zoom to 100% of the actual size. And that means that whatever, um, whatever uh, inch numbers you had there, it's going to crop it down to whatever, this is about 34 by, by um, uh, 21 or something. Um, and then we're going to change these, the format to um, JPEG uh, lossless. And then we're going to change the raster quality to 300. You can keep everything else the same because we're printing the current window and we're hiding all of the unreferenced and, and crop boundary stuff. So I'm going to hit OK. And this might take a little bit. If it ends up um, going too slow, you can always change the, um, the quality down to 150 and you can change the zoom to like something like 75. Um, but I'll show you what these look like. So here I have two files. I have one that I just printed out that's 11 megabytes and one that I printed out earlier that is um, uh, one, uh, 1.17 megabytes. And you can see that the, um, the dimensions, uh, there's many more pixels in this second one. And this is what it looks like. Um, you can again see that the, the lines are a little bit thinner. Um, you're getting a little bit more of the cut line, so I think that, that looks good. Um, but this is the one I printed earlier. This is a lower quality and this is totally fine. Um, this is at uh, JPEG medium quality, so rather than lossless. Um, and I printed at a slightly smaller um, size, so it's closer to like 24 by um, 18 or something like that. Um, just depending on uh, what um, I, I need to do with the file, like if I need to put this online. And you can see that the, the difference is that the, the lines are not as thick, they're not as prevalent in this because the drawing is actually smaller. Um, well, the drawing is actually bigger, so the lines um, are smaller uh, for, for this drawing. Um, and you can see that the, the, um, the fill pattern, the, the sort of um, the hatching pattern that goes on the concrete gets a little bit smaller. And it's maybe a little bit less noticeable than this one. Um, the, the repetition of it. And we're not going to focus on that a lot this semester. Um, we're going to go into it a little bit more next semester when we go into bookmaking. Uh, but here, uh, you know, I could choose either one of these. I might actually like this a little bit more for, for the internet because it, you can see the cut lines a little bit uh, more and it's a much smaller file. So I'll just run through that one more time. Um, we're going to turn a crop region on. Uh, we need to crop the view so that we can select the crop region and then we need to go to the size crop and change this to close to a 36 by 24 dimension. I'll change this to a 24 um, dimension here and you can see that I, I stuck with field of view and when I do that it actually crops the view. So I'm going to change that back to 34. Hit apply and I'm going to change the scale lock proportions and then we'll change that to 24 hit apply and that will auto adjust to a 24 by 15. If I hit OK there I can go to file export images and animations image uh, let's change the name of this I can zoom to 100% I'm going to change this back to JPEG medium and we're going to keep it at 300 dpi. So we're going to hit OK here. And that one ran a lot faster, and we can see the difference between that. Um, so this is that final one. This is the one I did right before, and you might not be able to see much of a difference, but this is sort of the, the, the lower end. So it's three, it's three different versions based on three different sizes. Um, and it's almost exactly like um, in Rhino or the, the Displaced View tutorial where you just have to do this a couple times to figure out um, exactly which one works the best for you.